Atlassian recently pushed out some changes to the way components work in company managed projects. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the differences and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to swap those component features out so you can go back or maybe stay in the current way. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. Don't forget to comment down below. And most importantly, don't forget to check out the links down below as I have links to my merch store, paid courses, and a link to my podcast, The Jira Life. So if you haven't subscribed to The Jira Life, definitely check out those links down below. Now let's jump into the video and let's jump into Jira. So if you click on components recently, you will notice that it says new, but what exactly does this new button do? And so if you clicked into it, you may have been greeted with this very interesting message that basically says group and track work around components of your software architecture, catalog and compass. And you may be wondering, well, what the heck is compass? Well, make sure you subscribe because that's going to be a future video and we'll talk a little bit more about compass. But today, let me show you how to deal with this because this is an interesting change, a change that Atlassian opted us into and not one that we chose to be a part of. And components is really interesting because when you come to this page, you are essentially greeted with nothing. You can't really do anything because the only action you can take is to go to issues. And what this does when you click on go to issues, it will take you to the list of your issues. And this, my friends, is where things change drastically. If you've been using components for a while now, then you know that that UI is completely different and the user experience is also significantly different as well. Because you see, in this new method, what happens is Atlassian is pushing us to click into our issues, pick an issue. So I'm just going to randomly pick this story here. And on the right hand side, under components, you will also see new. But now when you click into it, you will see your available components. So that begs the question, well, where are these components coming from? Well, they're now coming from Compass. And so I suspect that if you are seeing this new UI, this new user experience, it's because Atlassian is putting two and two together and it's saying, hey, you're using Compass and you have components in there. You're using Jira and you have components in there. Let's bring them together rather than having to duplicate data and creating components in two different places. You can now officially create your components in Compass. And again, future videos coming, so make sure you subscribe, right? And so now that you have those components inside of Compass and you've done all the legwork over there, why not reuse them instead of recreating them and be able to leverage them inside of Jira? And folks, this is essentially what's happening. These components here, if I were to go into Compass, which I'm gonna do in a second, these are gonna be the components that are available to me in my compass environment. Now I can always create a new component from here and this is gonna redirect me to compass. As you can see, it's a different logo. And once I'm here, I'm able to create a brand new component and I'm able to give it to a team and I'm able to create it. And once these components exist, so if I click up here and I look at the list of all my components, these are my components. And inside of Jira, I'm gonna do a quick refresh you will now see that my components after this refresh that is painstakingly slow, I should have a new option in here for my brand new component. So as you can see, rather than duplicating, rather than having to create the components in Compass, which is what you should be doing because the way components work, and again, we're going to be making future videos on components and Compass, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But the way all of that works, it's correct. You want to be doing your components in Compass. That is the proper area to do it. But now, rather than having to come back into Jira and recreating all that information again, you can just simply leverage the fact that they exist already. And so that's what's going on here. So this is great if you are a team that is actually leveraging Compass. If you're not, then you're probably very, very annoyed by this, especially since, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, this change is something that Atlassian opted you in automatically. They didn't give you the option, but not all hope is lost. If you're not leveraging Compass and you don't care for this, then all you need to do is come over here to the top right corner. It says Compass Components and you click on that and you just simply turn this off. And when you slide that off, Atlassian's gonna ask you for some feedback. Tell them, hey, stop opting me into things that I don't care for. I'm gonna skip though, because I'm passive aggressive that way. And now we're back to the traditional screen 
of how you create components if you don't have compass. And so this is the screen that is going to allow you to essentially create your component and then be able to use it in that component field. Now, some pros and cons for why you would want to go one way over another. As I mentioned just momentarily, components do really belong in Compass. And if you're doing software development the correct way, Compass is there to help you. It's there to augment that developer experience, and it's there to really increase your accountability. And most importantly, it's there to increase your team's architecture. It's there to make you and your team better developers, better code, and it's really a tool that you should be leveraging. Especially if your team has a DevOps tool stack, Compass is a key tool that you should definitely be leveraging. And when you use Compass, it forces you to think in a system of systems. It forces you to create a mapping of your architecture, which is really, really powerful. Now, this is not a Compass video, but I want you to think about that because if you're not using Compass and you're struggling, maybe you have a lot of bugs, maybe you have a lot of defects, maybe your team just has a lot of accountability problems and, and don't really know how your software is all interconnected, well, Compass and components may be a good solution for you. But if you're not doing any of that and you just simply want to regain control of your components and go back, definitely jump back into components here and hit that toggle. Now, if you ever change your mind, you can always click here and switch it back on and then you, we will be back to leveraging those components that are within Compass. So you basically lose some, get some, but it really does depend on your specific use case. So that's pretty much it. That's the all new components that are now integrated with Compass. So if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Finally, before we sign off, make sure you check out the merch store, help support the channel. I got quite a lot of different uh, available t-shirts out there. So pick your favorite one, buy one for you, buy one for your coworkers. And if you want to take your skills to the next level, I do have some paid Udemy courses inside of the links down below. So check out that link tree, many different ways for you to help support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.